So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. Woo! Alright, Trey goes, what's happening? Barnet Football Club, no wins in nine. It's here, it's now, it's game day. We're home for this one. We're off to the Hive. It's Barnet v Chorley in the Vanarama National League. Oh, you thought I was joking. <laughs> but anyway, that's another chat of bollocks. Let's get to the floor with news. So Chorley finished second in the Vanarama National League North last season, where they played 42 times, winning 24, drawing 9, losing 9, scoring 83, conceding 41, giving them a goal difference of plus 42, and he ended on 81 points. And they join us in the National League. Woo! Welcome. They're currently sitting rock bottom at 24th, and the last five games have been one win, two draws, and two losses. They've only won one league game all season. <laughs> Jamie Vlamiglio is in charge of the Magpies and he took over on the 24th of the 6th, 2018. He's taken 70 games, winning 31, drawing 20, losing 19. Gives him a win percentage of 44.29. Number 20, Chris Holroyd, who has six goals in 18 games. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Oh shit, here we go again. The 2nd of the 10th, 1989. Barnet 5, surely nil. Gary Ball, Dave Regis, Andy Clark, and Derek Payne with two, scoring Barnet's goals. I can't find clips nowadays. You think I could find something back from the 80s? So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Chorley. You may have a radio station named after you, but with a slogan coming in your ears. What is wrong with you? Who thought of that, you sick pervert? You bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet! Starting lineup for Barnet in the 4 2 3 1. Loach in goal. Your back four, Shalix on the right back, Elliot Johnson on the left back, Dan Sweeney and Captain Cannon Reynolds as the two centre halves. Your two in midfield today, Andre Bucard and James Dunn. The three in the advanced midfield role. David Zatonda on the wide left, Maro Valletti on the wide right, Midi Elite on the number 10 role, and Josh Walker up front. And this is our Chorley lineup today in a 4 4 2. No, Almost 10 in, 0 0 0. Chorley in the better team in the opening oh, 7 8 minutes. Eppin Waters played a long ball through to Masanka, who had a good shot. Loach should say to keep it nil nil. At the moment, they're the better team. Almost 20 in, still nil nil. Chorley are battling. Carving for Chorley had a great opportunity. Turn in the box against Reynolds. Shot. Loach has pushed it over the bar. We've had a goal disallowed, but this ain't as easy as people thought it would be. Garth hour in. The score hasn't changed. The Tonda putting a nice ball to Josh Walker into the box that he lifted just over the bar. It's not been nuts. We're standing off them. We're not putting enough pressure on them. They've got a centre back who's the same size as me, and we're playing one up front against him. Half hour in, Barnet nil, surely one. We've conceded from another corner yet again. I don't know what I can say. I'm losing it. Carvery has scored for Chorley, putting them one nil up. It was a great goal. The time he had to bring the ball down, you can argue Loke should have come for it. Who was ever marking? He should have taken charge. Either way, we're one nil down against bottom of the league. Five to the half, Chorley still lead one nil. See you at half time, because all we've done is sidewards and backwards passing yet again against bottom of the fucking league.
half time here at the Hive. It's Barnet nil. It's bottom of the league. Won one game all season. Surely one, really. Surely they've defended well and they've defended with like their life depends on it in parts. It's not good enough from us. End of. I can't make excuses. It's just not been good enough. You can argue we've had a couple of chances, but we ain't put the ball in the bag in the net. They have. I don't care. That's it, man. We do nothing with the ball. No movement, no creativity. Josh Walker's played up front for 45 minutes and barely had anything to work with. We're just not pressing them enough. Do you know what? I'm done there. I'm done. In the 60th minute, we're still losing 1 0. Just been given a lifeline. We've got a penalty. Very soft onto Tonda, but right now I'm taking all the luck we can get. Jack Taylor to stamp up and take. Yeah! Jack Taylor equalises, making it 1 1. Are we going to wake up? Almost quarter of an hour to go. It's still 1 1. Apart from us scoring that goal, we haven't really tested the keeper. Surely have been poor. The amount of sloppy passes that they've done, the weather hasn't helped. Pitch is cutting up completely, but we should have enough about us to beat a team like this, and we just haven't. Yeah! On the 79th minute, it's Barnet 2. Surely 1. Just before we scored, Josh Walker turns the defender in the box. This is shot off and the kick will push for a corner. From a quick corner, the ball lands nicely to Valetti, just laces it into the roof of the goal, making it 2-1. We're not going to win the league, by the way. 90 minutes are up, five added minutes remaining. We lead 2-1. We've got five minutes to see out this 2-1 lead. So the game finished, Barnet 2, Chorley 1. We finally managed to win a game of football after one win in nine. But let's not kid ourselves here. We barely beat a bunch of part-timers who were bottom of the league and have won one game all season. And of course, we went 1-0 down against them. I've just got to the point now where I'm watching my team expecting to go a goal down or two goals down. That is the norm. I'm not surprised. And I don't think anyone else is as well. Because when we went in at half-time 1-0 down, no one booed. Everyone just looked around like, never mind, going to happen in it. Might as well just crack on with it now. Truly battled in that first half for absolutely everything. You could tell that they're down the bottom and it was going to make it difficult. And they was just scrimping and scraping and scratching to try and cling on to anything. And when they've gone one and up, they must have hit the lottery. I look at our formation and our team selection. And then in that first 45 minutes where we've barely broken them down, barely got behind them, struggled to create anything, far too slow, not aggressive enough in our power passage of play and then I look at that number six and think fucking size of him he's about the size of me he's had the easiest for 45 minutes of football in his entire life where we just did not work him or their team enough so you've got to look at the starting 11 and the team selection and again the man management it was all wrong again Boring football, sideways and backwards. Throw as many statistics out there as you like. We was 1-0 down at half-time to bottom of the league, who's won one game all season. That is embarrassing. But the second half is where it all changed. And we brought in Jack Taylor, who's added straight away creativity, forward thinking, forward movement, forward passing. And then Mason Clark was added, and he added energy and driving, and he added danger. Surely was organised, and they kept their shape well. We got back into it by a penalty, but it goes to show it's taken a penalty for us to get back into this game and haven't we gone with two up front against a team who's bottom of the league yes we've won it stopped the rot but even going into this game our players on paper we should have had enough quality to kill this game off in the first half yet we've gone in again one nil down we've won and now we move on to the fa cup at home to fleetwood sand the magic of the cup is up next you know what to do tala banter